Hello, and welcome to the CCS Student Housing uh, Information video on how to use our new Mercury housing software. We're very excited for this new edition. So to jump right in, um, if you're not familiar with Access Manager, you'll want to go to this link here at the top, idp.collegeforcreativestudies.edu. You'll sign in with your student username as well as your password. You'll click Sign In, and then you'll come to a page here which are with many buttons that take you different places. When our application goes live, there will be a button that looks just like these that will say Mercury Housing Application. And the image will look just like this. So you're looking for this right here. Once you've clicked that link, you'll come to our first page. It will log you in automatically, and it will bring you to a landing page. Here, um, they are blocked out now. You won't be able to see them at the moment, but when the application does go live, um, you'll see this link right here, and it will be submit the 2023-2024 application. Once you've clicked that, you'll come to this page, and this is our introduction to the application. So for starters, this page here is asking that um, students do this page for themselves, by themselves. Specifically, we ask this because now that students will be living away from their home, this is an opportunity for them to answer the questions in a way that will shape their experience for what they are hoping to get out of college. So we are hoping that this will give them an opportunity for some privacy and to create an experience that they think will be best for them. Once you click on Next Steps, you will be brought to this page, which is basically a demographic page. What you can't see on my, my account, because this is a test account, is that all of your information that you registered with CCS through your application and your admissions will be preloaded on here. That's different from before. So your student ID, your university email name, your address, all of these things will be imported into the system. If you see any information that's incorrect here, you'll need to call the Academic Advising and Registration Office. They'll be able to get that information fixed. Once it's fixed, it'll be fixed in Mercury 24 hours after you make that correction with, the, with their office. Okay, so um, on this page, you're asked to do two things. One is we are leaving this blank intentionally because we want this to be the student's email. Or I'm sorry, the student's cell phone number. We often will get parents who help with this and accidentally put their own phone number. We'd like you to really focus on this being the student's cell phone number. Here is a spot for students to fill in their social media page pages um, if you choose. And once these are uploaded, um, when you get paired with your roommates, your roommates will have an opportunity to see these links and connect with you a little quicker. Finally, we ask for emergency contact information. Yes, you did submit that with your college application, but we ask for our emergency contacts every year so that we have the most fresh information available. Okay, um, so it's telling me that I haven't filled it in yet, so I've missed required fields, so I'm gonna fill this in very quickly with some gibberish. You obviously will wanna fill in the appropriate information. Very good. Okay. Um, a quick caveat here is I'm going to put this down for a moment. If you are under the age of 18, you will be then prompted to this screen. And basically what this is saying is you're under 18. We need you to have a co-signature uh, with this application. So basically what you'll do is you'll fill in your co-signatures. This is typically a parent or guardian. Um, and then you'll fill in their first name, last name, relationship, their language, and their cell phone number. You will later be prompted to send them an email, and that person will have 24 hours to complete that co-signature process. So it would be our recommendation to fill in the application and have that co-signature, co-signer ready so that once you finish and they get the email, they can do it right away. Okay, so now that we've passed that stage, you'll come here to um, our um, gender page. And again, this is a page that we ask uh, students to do by themselves so they can identify as openly and freely as they can. 
um, you'll be able to, these are all optional. You don't have to fill them in if you don't like. Um, we do have a drop down menu. If you don't see something here you connect with, you can put it here as well. You can also put pronouns and your preferred name. Our gender neutral housing uh, page is also down here. Uh, if you have further questions on what um, our gender neutral, gender neutral housing policy is, you can cl click this link and you'll have three options. I am not comfortable in a gender neutral space. I would be comfortable in a gender neutral space and I'm actively seeking one. One. Okay, the next page we have here is um, for our students who'd like to identify if they have ADA or medical concerns, so basically disability services. If you say no, you'll be prompted to just go right to the next page. If you say yes, you'll be brought here. <clears throat> um, on this page, what we want you to do is fill in a very brief description of what your disability needs are and this is a way for me to pair what you are putting here with what our disability service person gives to me. Why this is important is this page right here is not an official request for accommodation. It's just letting me know to connect with our disability coordinator and make sure that we are, our notes are matching. If you believe you need accommodations, you'll need to click this link. That will take you to our disability accommodation page. It will also give you a link where you can submit your paperwork. And once you get that type of approval, then I'll be able to get the approval from Dan, who is our coordinator, and we'll, we'll connect you with your accommodations. Oh. Okay. This page here is for, again, optional. If, if you have none of these, that's fine. Um, this is a space for you to let us know if you have allergies. Um, most specifically, we do have emotional support animals in the building. So if you have animal allergies, this is a good place to let us know. And also, this is a place to let us know if you're taking medication. In either of these spaces, if there's any additional information that will help us provide you a good living experience, you can put that here as well. So I'm taking these meds. And this is what this means for me. We will never share any of this information with anyone with the exception of someone who would be an advocate for your health and safety. And you'll click this once you fill this in and you'll move to the next step. Next, this is our page where you're asking a couple questions about living preferences. And we ask you to do this as honestly as possible because this is gonna help the system figure out who would be a good match for you. We've picked topics that we see pop up if students are having roommate conflicts these are some these are often the topics that get popped up so the better matching we can do the better so you'll fill in however you would answer these questions and then our system is going to intelligently look at all students on campus and put them together as most efficiently as we can to make a harmonious living environment for everybody Okay, so now we are on to our room type and roommate group information. So um, this is not required. Um, and if you fill in nothing for the room type preference, then the system will assume you do not have a preference. If you do have a preference, you'll be able to click on this button here. You'll be able to, you'll, you're gonna be offered two preferences. So your first would be which the building, and then you can say if you want AC, B, or TC, let's say you want that. And then the last one is you can pick a two bedroom, which is two bedroom for four people or a three bedroom for six people. Fill that in. You have to hit select. If you don't see it this way, you've not entered it. And then you have the option to fill in one other if you'd like. This will be a preference one and preference two. If you've changed your mind, you want to delete them, you can also do that. Would you like to delete? Yes, I would. And that's how you would do the room type preference. This next question is about the wait list, which basically means if you don't get what you're hoping for, and you don't get placed on campus, would you like to be moved to a wait list? And you'll say yes or no. And this is important for our placement software. So you can say whichever you think. And then this last part down here is for meal plans. 
And this is where you have the option to tell us if you would like to select the large meal plan, the small meal plan, or no meal plan option. If you say, I do not want a meal plan, but you are placed in the Taubman Center, a meal plan is required in the Taubman Center, and that option will be updated, and you will be given the small meal plan. Also very important that we, we put into a couple different places. If you choose to live in the, if, if you live in the Art Center building and you choose to have a meal plan, once you move in, you cannot change that decision and you will have it for the entire academic year. So if you don't want a meal plan, the Art Center building's for you. If you do want a meal plan, you would select whichever size you want, but you are then obligated to that meal plan for um, the fall and winter semester. Okay, this page here you'll find is the application summary. So this is just all the information you just gave us summarized. You have the option to download it here. Click next step if you're done there. Okay, and then this is um, our housing agreement page. So this is all kind of the nuts and bolts of the housing agreement. I suggest you read through so that you have a full understanding of what you're agreeing to. We also have a couple hot button things here, so make sure you read through these so that you understand these going into, this is information we wanna make sure that you're taking away from the documents we've put here. And then lastly, you will fill in your, your student ID. This is my test account, so this is my university ID but you will use your seven digit university ID to sign this, this step. And then if you are under the age of 18, this is the, the email where your co-signature is gonna go. The last thing here, and the most important part, is you have to click this to finish the process. So I will put, are you sure you want to accept? Yes, I want to accept, oh, I didn't click. Okay, and you will come to this page. Congratulations, you've submitted your application. Now, what's very important is if you've come to this point in the process, you are complete, you are done. Because we do not yet have the $300 payment portal activated. Once we do have that activated and you have finished your application, we will then email you when that system goes live and you will have two weeks to make that payment. So we'll send you all an email. There'll be a link right in the email. You can click it. You can make your $300 payment. What's also important about this is that there is a section after you have made your payment that you'll be able to tell the system the roommates that you'd like to live with. You do not have that option yet because you can only make a roommate group once everyone in the room has made the payment. And since we don't have that payment option yet, you're not able to make those groups. But when you are able to make the payment, we'll be able to coach you through that and we'll make an additional video. Make sure you hit finish. Once you've done that, you'll get to this page. You'll also receive a confirmation email. A couple uh, final thoughts. If you are having some problems with this application, please send an email to housing at collegeforcreativestudies.edu and send screenshots to help us understand what challenges you're experiencing. And we can help you as, as, as quickly as we can. This system is new to you. It's also new to us. And we've been going through a lot of trainings to understand the system. And so we appreciate your patience as we all continue to learn this system together. We're very excited to have you on campus. We're looking forward to seeing you soon.